Hey guys, got a follow-up video to my video number 32, which showed you how to select data from a table. Now, it's very possible that you'd like to select data, but you'd like to select only certain columns or certain fields out of the table. It's also possible that you might not want to select all the rows or all the records out of the table. So this video is gonna show you quickly how we can limit both fields and rows in a SQL select statement. So let's begin by looking at the query that we executed in the last video, select star from items. You can see that it displayed all the fields, item number and description, and all the rows, rows one, two, and three. So if we'd like to limit it down to particular columns, we can do that by changing the asterisk to a field name or a list of field names. For example, item number would show us only the item number field for each record. So if we press enter, we see only the item number fields. We don't see the description. If we change that to description, we only see the description field for each record. We can also comma delimit a list of fields that we'd like to see. So for example, select field one, comma field two, comma field two, three, and so on. In this case, select item number, comma description from items. It shows us only the item number and description fields, which happens to be all the fields that are in the table. So this is a simple way that you can replace the asterisk or the star in a select statement with a list of field names and that limits the number of fields that you see to just those fields you want. Now, in the event that you would like to limit the number of rows, then we use something called a WHERE clause. In this case, we add the WHERE clause after the table name. So we do something like select item number comma description from items where, and we put in some where condition, such as a field name equals a value. So for example, we have item number is a field. So we could type in item number is equal to, and we could pick one of our rows we'd like to see. Item number is equal to one a semicolon to end it, and we press enter, and it only shows us that record. Now let's say we only wanted to see the description for item number one. We could go and change that to only show us the description, as we learned in the first part of this video. And you could see just the description for item number one. So here, we've limited both by columns or fields and by rows or records. We could also limit the rows by another field, such as description. And we do that by saying description is equal to some value. So maybe we're looking for the computer, but we have to put that value in quotes because it's what we call a string. We were able to use the number one because it's a number, but strings like names or addresses or cities or things like that. They're all considered strings by a computer. So we put it in quotes. And it's very literal, so you have to have the case exactly right. So if we type that in and press enter, we see the records in the table where the description is set to computer. Now obviously this isn't very useful. We'd probably rather see the item number So what item number has a description of computer? And if we press enter, you see it's item number two. So let's look at another table and a couple of examples. So we've looked at items for this example. Let's look at the users table, which has username and password as the fields. If we were logging in someone to a web application, we might check their credentials. So we might select star from users 
where the username is equal to whatever username they entered, in which case, let's assume it's something like Lisa. So we type Lisa in quotes, otherwise it might confuse L-I-S-A with some sort of field name and go looking for that, but we don't have a field named Lisa. We have a value, so that's why it's in quotes. So select star from users where username is equal to Lisa. It returns back her record. We can look at the password she typed in, compare it to the password we got out of the database, and say, yes, this is Lisa. So this wraps up select statements limiting the data that's returned in the select statement either by column or by row and in database terminology we'd say limiting the data down to certain fields and certain records.